Traffic accidents. They happen every minute of the day around the world. Many of you may have even been in crashes yourselves or had loved ones in accidents. The risk is very high. All these accidents impact people's health, and there are many health costs related to them. Even though traffic accidents will continue to occur, there are many steps we can take to minimize the impact of the accident, mainly through car safety devices like seatbelts. What I'm trying to say is, the innovation of car safety devices create more so a positive impact health-wise and economically for the society. The main car safety device, which minimizes the most damages to our bodies in traffic accidents, are seatbelts. In times of a crash, seatbelts possess a lock mechanism which stops the passengers from moving forward. The way it works starts with two little sensors in the mechanism. When a high force is detected, the mechanism locks, keeping the person in their seat while the car goes through the impact. Keeping the body in place, less force is applied and the body is less likely to be damaged or injured. Speaking about forces in a traffic accident, we have to first understand why exactly your body moves as it does in crashes. Inertia is an object's impulse to continue to move unless otherwise stopped by another object working against the force. Naturally, objects want to keep moving. If a person is driving in a car, both their speed and the cars will be the same. However, if the car is stopped by colliding with another car in a traffic accident, for example, then the car's speed would stop while the person's would be the same. Due to this, they would go flying into the steering wheel or the windshield and gaining fatal injuries. We may not appreciate them as much, but all these car safety devices can determine life or death in a traffic accident. Yeah, it's that serious. If these devices didn't stop the inertia in a crash, then the risk of getting fatal injuries or even dying would be a lot higher. Our bodies would fly into the front, hitting our heads on the windshield, breaking our bones on the steering wheel, or even flying out and scraping skin on the pavement. Looking at the health aspect, the usage of car safety devices dramatically has a positive impact on the health of those in a traffic accident. Firstly, seatbelts are a huge safety factor, especially for children and babies because, again, inertia. Seatbelts are positioned against the strongest bones in the body, the ribcage and the pelvic or hip bone, to prevent any damages and be counterproductive. As already explained, the lock mechanism in the seatbelt plays a very important role in the health and safety of a passenger in times of an accident. It keeps their bodies in place, acting as a counterforce to the inertia. What's even more interesting, the seatbelt attaches the car seat to the frame of the car. If there was no seatbelt, imagine what would happen to the car seat in an accident, only to injure the passenger even more. Statistically, seatbelts reduce the chances of injuries in a car accident by 50%. However, with all these advantages to car safety devices, there are always limitations. One limitation with seatbelts, unfortunately, is that when a car accident occurs, all the force being encountered by the seatbelt can hurt the passenger's body, also known as seatbelt syndrome. This is when accident-related injuries occur, and the fibers of the seatbelt cause damage to the chest and abdominal areas. Injuries could include fatal bruises and cuts, and also even internal tearing of sort certain organs. Children and infants in cars are at the worst risk of damage due to the seatbelts. This is because the seatbelts are not positioned on the right parts of the body, and could severely bruise and fracture the children's bodies, and could be as bad as cutting their necks. This is why booster and infant seats are enforced, but even with these, the children's bodies are very fragile compared to the inertia of being countered by the seatbelt. Also, studies have shown that wearing seatbelts have caused somewhat more accidents statistically. Scientifically speaking, this happens because when we wear seatbelts, our mentalities change that we are more safe and take more risk while driving. This ultimately leads to a higher rate of crashes and completely diminishes their, the effectiveness of seatbelts. There are many pros and cons when looking through an economical aspect as well. Did you know that healthcare costs for belted drivers in accidents are 60% less than unbelted drivers? According to the Kansas State University, if there was a 1% incremental increase in belt usage, the state of Kansas could have annually saved $14 million. What's even more, if the population of Kansas has a seat belt usage of 82%, the state would have an estimated $222 million in economic savings. But how does this happen? Well, if the injuries of passengers in car accidents are less fatal, then less healthcare costs at play, and less materials are needed in treating those patients. Ultimately, this positively impacts the economy. If we really want to go into depth, then car safety devices like seatbelts reduce fatalities by 50%. Economically speaking, fatalities are costly through many factors, and with the death rate reduced by 50%, it has a significant positive impact on the economy. Looking at age groups, statistics show that teenagers aged 16 to 19 are three times more likely to be in a fatal crash than adults. 
At that age, they should have jobs, and usually those who drive all have jobs which they commute to for the most part. With such fatalities, those able to work are killed, ultimately affecting the economy. Although this can be seen as a positive factor because fatalities are decreased by 50%, the other 50% can be seen as a limitation. With such a high death rate in traffic accidents, the economy is still significantly impacted regarding the workforce and all the other costs regarding deaths. I know it's unrealistic to have a solution that could save 100% deaths from car accidents, but with the devices we use now, the remaining 50% which dies has a negative impact on the economy. Another limitation is the cost of these devices. Car safety devices such as seatbelts add on to the price of the car, which many can't afford in several countries. This results in less of the community buying the product, decreasing the profit of the economy. Although it is enforced for safety reasons, this is a major economic limitation of seatbelts. All in all, by continuing developing car safety devices, in comparison, it has more so of a positive outcome. Car safety devices can be the thin line between life and death in traffic accidents, and we need to continue to improve them in order for fatalities and inj injuries to be at a complete minimal. Health-wise, by stopping the inertia, seatbelts decrease the chances of death by 50% and dramatically reduce the amount of health care needed from the accident. Economically speaking, this decreases healthcare costs and benefits the economy because less materials are used. When comparing all aspects, the advantages of car safety devices dramatically outweigh the limitations and therefore the innovation of car safety devices has a positive impact on the society. So remember everyone, buckle up!